And it looks like it'll be these two superstars kicking it off oh, here man. tonight. These superstars are about to put up the corners down. No trouble kicking out of that one. Going to take more than that. Jacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Oh, man! Ouch! Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down, and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Oh, this is dangerous right here. We know what's coming here. And that's how a superstar takes advantage of their ring position. A high ring IQ. Oh. Got every ounce of that one. Always nice when the plan starts coming together. When this guy's on, look out. Here it comes. Looking for the choke slam. This could be the turning point. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. In a 
tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, count out, or disqualification. This could end it in a hurry. Focused attack on the back. Can't waste any time here. That slam just brought this entire arena shoulders on the mat. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee, this could do it. duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team comedy. Oh no! Ooh. Now it's time to capitalize. Oh boy, he is rolling. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, here we go. This is not where you want to be. This could... you got to believe this one's over. What a comeback. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment. Look at that in a second time. This could be big. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I, I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self doubt. Beautiful technique. Like DDT. Oh boy, he is really drop kick. Beautiful. This one is over. to grit too soon. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harsh impact. And now, now that's how you put an exclamation point on a match. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Michael, that gives me meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. Jack. 
That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The tag team seen here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Here it comes. Oh my god, what impact! Oh, a splash! Going for oof! I knew it was only a matter of time. The force of that impact should put an end to this match. That's just great execution. He's making a statement here with this attack. Rocket kick. Wow. Games. Rocket kick. Wow. This one's over, guys. This may very well be it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Here we go. Butter. That should do it. Will this be enough? A win like that 